there you go it's moving it's moving a lot of people get the black screen after the bias update i don't know why i have never had that problem that happened to me okay let's go into that intro now So you updated your bias motherboard and now you have a black screen. Okay, it says update successfully, system will be reset. Oh, I guess it did it itself. Let's see what happens now. Uh, well, um, I am on the black screen. The one that a lot of, that a lot of people get freaked out about. Once I get something, I'm going to hit the delete button. The computer is powered on. So let's see what happens. Well, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot that problem. But I tell you something, it's very easy to fix. Now, it is panicking. Yes, it is. So the computer is running and I got the code, the error code. I got the error code 79 on my motherboard. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the restart, the, the reset button. We'll see what happens. Coming back. Hey, maybe I jinxed myself. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had the black screen. Probably this was my time. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes I get comments like, oh my god, there's no uh there's nothing on my screen, everything is black. My monitors won't turn on after the BIOS update. And it's terrifying to think about the fact that you lost all your files, that you're gonna have to do or submit an RMA. Whoa, it's just a headache. What you want to do is go to your motherboard, shut down the computer, unplug the, the cord, turn off the uh, power supply, and hit the power button one time to make sure all of the leftover power uh, in the computer is out. Why do I ask to do that? Uh, it's recommended. Step number two, go ahead and open up your case and look for the CMOS, CMOS little battery. So go ahead and remove it and leave it out for at least a couple of minutes. Step number three, go ahead and reinstall back the little CMOS battery. And what this process does, it resets the whole motherboard. Well, I jinxed myself. I am saying that this never happened to me. I'm gonna hit the rest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna power it down completely. Turn off the switch. And hit the power button to drain anything. See my preset, which you remove the little battery. I'm gonna reconnect it back. Okay, I reset the CMOS, reset the bias. <sighs> Let's see what happens now. See if we get anything. There it goes, it's coming back. There it is. I reset the motherboard. Okay, ASUS X99, ACP, bias revision 3902. Let's go ahead and press F1 to get going. Let's see if we're gonna be able to uh, go to bias. There we go, we're in bias. We got our Windows Boot Manager. Bias version, I haven't done any overclocking. Save changes and reset. Uh, I didn't do anything to the bias. So the only thing I did was reset the bias or update it. Uh, let's see what happens now. Are we gonna boot into Windows or not? I'm telling you. Oh, 
Oh, we got something. Snow White Vengeance. Here we go. Here I am back into Windows. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the restart button again. Oh, here I am. I'm back, back on Windows. That should have fixed the black screen. Well, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope that the video was helpful to you. I really hope so. Uh, like I said, I've done hundreds of BIOS updates and I have never hit the black screen until this time with the i7-5820K-X99A motherboard. Man, I've had this motherboard in this processor for a long time and the only thing that i use this computer for it's for video editing anymore because i got R R ryzen 2700 thanks for watching this video like i said hit the like down below subscribe if you're not already stay tuned for more upcoming videos i will see you in the next time wait i will see you in the next video or you will see me in the next video because i can't possibly see you i can see you when you leave a comment and a like bye now